Hey guys, this is 1977 Logan here um, with a little update. Uh, I finally have uh, acquired a magnesium test kit. This is a Seachem Reef Status Magnesium Carbonate and Borate Test Kit. Um, it was a little cashy. I don't know if this is the best test kit for magnesium, but I'm going to give it a try. Uh, it comes in a nice little box. Um, we'll take a look at the inside here. Sorry about the glare from the light. Um, inside, it comes with a bottle of the uh, alkalinity uh, titrant instructions. Comes with a bag of cotton balls. I've already looked at the kit and the instructions. Apparently, this is for filtration. A uh, bottle of magnesium titrant, uh, a, a bottle of reference liquid that gives you the reference for your to make sure your te your te tests are coming out accurate. Um, two plastic syringes that are in mills. Um, test vial. Um, more. Your magnesium solutions, part one and two. These are for the the uh, carbonate and the alkalinity. Uh, comes with several little vials, a uh, little stick for poking your filters down in there. I'm not going to ramble on about it too much. It seems like a pretty straightforward deal. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, test my aquarium water. I'm I'm about to do a water change, but I'm going to go ahead and test test the water now that, that's in the tank and just see where the magnesium levels at so I'll get back with you later alright guys it's 1977 Logan again I'm back um, after uh, using the Seachem magnesium test kit for the first time on on the water that's in my aquarium right now I know this isn't probably picking up the best of color but uh, uh, after you add your uh, magnesium 1 and 2 to your sample you uh, you use this uh, the syringe, which is which is a holds one mil of of uh, titrant. So uh, according to the directions, I I uh, I put a milliliter of the alkaline uh, the uh, magnesium titrant in here and uh, begin dripping into my uh, into my uh, sample and uh, with the with the first two reagents or whatever in it, it was a, a real magenta pink color. And so I went drip by drip, shaking shaking my uh, sample as I went, and uh, end up putting in 0 .9, 0 .9 mils of the uh, titrant. So then when I come over here to this little scale, I know you can't see this at all, but uh, according to the scale, 0 .9 uh, milliliters of of the titrant means that my magnesium is at about 1125 uh, milligrams per liter so that's not real real low I think I was reading in here that it says uh, that it should be somewhere around between 12 and 13 or 12 and 1400 so I am a little low but like I said I um, I'm just getting ready to do a water change so I may repeat I may go ahead and repeat this test after uh, after I do a water change just to see where where it, uh, where it's setting at then but all in all the test kit was uh, really uh, easy to use um, I, I can't really tell you on accuracy I don't I mean, I don't know, so I may uh, I may use the uh, calibration solution and try it out and make sure that I'm doing this right. Uh, but uh, all in all, it's a easy easy kit to use. So, um, like I said, I'll do a water change, I'll retest, and on my next little update, I'll uh, I'll uh, mention what what the results of that were. But uh, 
with the magnesium looking good I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, dosing some calcium alkalinity and then watch my magnesium levels and uh, dose them a little probably to bring them up to up to where they need to be but uh, all in all I'd say this is a good kit um, easy to use so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll get back with you later